Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Disaster alert. Manila Trench quake imminent. Seismologists warn of an 8.4 magnitude event. Tsunami could wipe out coastal cities. This is not a drill. Deep beneath the South China Sea, the Manila Trench, a geological titan, lies ominously silent. For centuries, it has been quiet, perhaps too quiet. Scientists now see this silence as a warning. Immense pressure is building. A catastrophic release is not a matter of if, but when. The signs are there, written in the language of rock and water. The potential devastation threatens millions across Southeast Asia. Unlike hurricanes or wildfires, this threat is hidden deep within the Earth's crust. The Manila Trench is a subduction zone, where tectonic plates lock and strain for centuries. This stored energy must eventually be released, resulting in a megaquake. An 8.4 magnitude earthquake is not just a tremor, it's a violent, earth-shattering event. Buildings in Manila could sway and collapse, infrastructure torn apart. But the shaking is only the beginning. An undersea quake would displace a colossal volume of water, creating a tsunami that could travel across the South China Sea at jetliner speed. We can map the faults and measure the strain, but the question is, will we act on this knowledge? Today, July 25, 2025, the trench remains silent, but it is the silence of a predator gathering strength. We ignore its presence at our own peril. The clock is ticking. The Earth does not wait for us to be ready. The threat is real and imminent. The Manila Trench is a deep, narrow chasm in the seafloor, a scar marking a profound geological boundary. It runs from Taiwan southward, parallel to Luzon's western coast. Here, the Eurasian Plate dives beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, fueling the Luzon Arc's volcanoes. Subduction zones like this are the engines behind the world's most powerful earthquakes. The plates lock, storing energy for centuries. The Manila Trench's historical silence is alarming. No record of a truly massive, trench-wide quake. This suggests the trench is fully locked, with enormous energy waiting to be unleashed. The risk is compounded by geography. The trench lies close to densely populated areas. Manila Bay, Luzon's coast, and beyond. Vietnam, southern China, Hong Kong, Macau, even Taiwan, are all in the tsunami's potential path. The Manila Trench is not just a Philippine problem. It's a regional catastrophe in waiting. Millions of lives hang in the balance. The silence is not reassuring. It's terrifying. Imagine bending a plastic ruler until it snaps. That's the Manila Trench tectonic plates locked, stress building for centuries. The Earth's crust bends and deforms, storing energy on a scale beyond comprehension. The silence means the ruler has been bending for a very long time. Scientists fear it's now at its breaking point. When it snaps, the energy released will be enough to level cities and reshape coastlines. The next movement may not be a small slip, but a catastrophic failure along the entire locked section. The resulting megaquake will change the landscape and lives forever. The warning signs are clear. The time to prepare is now. The Earth's tension is reaching its limit. The consequences will be devastating. We must not ignore the strain. To understand the Manila Trench's threat, look to December 26, 2004. The Sunda Trench ruptured off Sumatra, unleashing a 9.1 magnitude quake. The seafloor thrust upward, displacing a massive volume of water. The resulting tsunami swept across the Indian Ocean, killing nearly a quarter million people in 14 countries. Entire towns vanished, families lost, devastation on a scale the world had rarely seen. The parallels to the Manila Trench are chilling, a major subduction zone, immense stored energy, and millions at risk. The South China Sea is smaller than the Indian Ocean, meaning less warning time for cities like Manila, Hong Kong, and Vietnam. A Manila Trench tsunami could strike within minutes. The lesson from Sumatra, never underestimate the tsunami threat. The cost of inaction is measured in lives. We must heed the warning. In 2011, Japan, one of the world's most prepared nations, faced a 9.0 quake off Tohoku. Buildings held, but the tsunami overwhelmed seawalls, surging over 40 meters high and traveling 10 kilometers inland. Nearly 20,000 lives were lost, and the Fukushima nuclear disaster followed. 
the event showed how a natural disaster can trigger cascading failures in modern society. Even the best preparations can be overwhelmed by an event larger than history predicts. The Manila Trench, with no major quake on record, could unleash something even bigger. What critical infrastructure lies in the tsunami's path? Are we ready for secondary disasters? Power plants, ports, chemical factories? The lessons from Japan are clear. Expect the unexpected. Prepare for the worst. The stakes are too high for complacency. Manila, a mega city of over 13 million, sits perilously close to the Manila Trench. Much of the city is built on soft, wet sediment, amplifying seismic waves and causing liquefaction. An 8.4 quake could collapse older buildings, sever bridges, and plunge the city into chaos. Emergency services would be overwhelmed, hospitals damaged and flooded with casualties. Manila's dense population and vulnerable housing make rescue efforts daunting. The city's coastal geography is a deadly trap. A tsunami could funnel through Manila Bay, raising wave heights and flooding low-lying districts. The combination of violent shaking, liquefaction, and tsunami threat makes Manila one of the world's most vulnerable cities. The peril is real and urgent. When the Manila Trench ruptures, the earthquake is only the beginning. The seafloor's sudden uplift will unleash a tsunami racing across the South China Sea. Western Luzon could be hit within minutes. No time for warnings. Coastal communities, fishing villages, and resorts would be devastated. The waves, more like a fast-rising tide than a breaker, would scour the land clean. Across the sea, cities like Hong Kong and Macau would have only hours to prepare. The South China Sea's shape could amplify and reflect waves, creating unpredictable surges. Multiple waves could strike, with the largest not always arriving first. The entire basin would become a churning cauldron, making rescue impossible at first. The tsunami's reach and power are almost unimaginable. Despair is not an option. Action is. We can't stop the earthquake, but preparedness can save lives. International cooperation is essential. The Manila Trench is a shared threat. Nations must build a seamless tsunami warning system, linking seismic sensors to emergency broadcasts. In the Philippines, public awareness and regular drills are critical. Building codes must be strengthened, vulnerable structures retrofitted. Infrastructure, bridges, power, water, must be resilient and redundant. Hospitals need disaster plans and supplies stockpiled in advance. Science and technology can help inundation maps, GPS monitoring, and early warning systems. Urban planning must avoid the most dangerous zones. The tools exist. What's needed is political will and investment. Preparedness is the best insurance policy. The time to act is now. The Earth is warning us. The Manila Trench is a ticking time bomb. The evidence is overwhelming. The precedents from Sumatra and Japan are clear. We live in the shadow of a colossal disaster. Ignoring this threat would be a grave mistake. Governments must cooperate, fund research and enforce building codes. City planners and engineers must build resilient communities. Scientists must monitor and communicate the risk. Every citizen must take the danger seriously and be prepared. We cannot afford to only react to tragedy. We must anticipate and prepare. The cost of preparedness is tiny compared to the cost of devastation. Let us honor past victims by learning from their fate. The great quake is coming. The time to act is now.